Hi, and welcome to this brief introduction on how to create your OnlyFans profile. Now, if you're new to the platform and interested in making some side gig money, by all means, consider this as an option. But I will say this, we are going to be sensitive as to what information we can show in this video to adhere to YouTube's policies. Now, the way to actually join OnlyFans is simply to visit this URL up at the top up here. You're going to see it as OnlyFans.com. OnlyFans is a place to post sensitive information. Uh, as you know, uh, you may be familiar with the platform. It is a great opportunity for you to make a lot of money in a very short time frame. But I will say this with an exclamation point. You have to be absolutely comfortable with what you're posting on this platform. Consider it uh, as a preface. Make your decisions based off what you feel comfortable being posted out in the public. And if you're okay with videos and photos being sent out into the public view, then you have a gauge there as to whether or not you're okay posting it on this specific platform. This platform gives you the ability to post videos, stream uh, videos, as well as photos, and actually create a subscription uh, process to allow people to subscribe, whether monthly or, or three months or maybe even up to six months. And the pricing of your subscription is 100% up to you. Now, I can say that a lot of people do utilize this platform to post content that isn't explicit, if you understand what I mean. You do not have to show your face. Um, you can even, I've seen some content creators use this platform. A uh, good example is Steph Me, who actually just posts content specific to her golfing and allows people to participate in that experience. So again, this platform can be used for explicit content information, but you do not have to show your face and it can also be used to post other types of content such as you cooking or such as you golfing. Again, a great opportunity for you to streamline your business, get yourself out there into a platform where millions of users are visiting daily. But again, you have to be 18 years or older and be extremely comfortable using this platform. So let's get started. Now to create a profile in uh, OnlyFans, all you have to do is simply visit this URL, type in your email information right over here. It's gonna say sign up for OnlyFans. Once you type your email, it's going to send a verification uh, to your email account to verify that, in fact, it's you. And then just click on that link. It'll redirect uh, you to your OnlyFans page. It is absolutely free. So let's go ahead and visit what you actually see behind the scenes. Okay. So here is a demo account that we created specifically for this video. I will preface to say that again, this is just a demo. So you're not gonna show anything sensitive in this type of backend system. This is what you're gonna look like for the first time when you first actually join. It's up to you again to then, once you have access to this account, to create your profile. But let's look at all the various bells and whistles that you can actually see. This is what they call the landing page. As you notice over here, it's the home page. Over here on the right side, you're gonna get suggestions from OnlyFans. Again, you can navigate through these by simply clicking this and make it your discretion as to whether or not you wanna view any specific content that OnlyFans posts on the right side. Um, you wanna go ahead and actually just, if you wanna remove something, just click these three little buttons right over here you can see that if you click them, you're gonna have various options. Do you wanna copy this link? Do you wanna add and remove this from the list? Do you wanna block it? Do you wanna report it? Uh, everything and anything, and you even have the ability to physically remove this entire box right over here. Again, this is only fans uh, information that they actually streamline on your landing page to promote other content creators. In the beginning, you're going to get a feed, and this is, again, other sales pitched by OnlyFans that they post on your landing page from other content creators. If you notice over here, you're going to, they're going to show you that it's the latest and the greatest as far as when they actually posted this notation. Uh, you do have the ability, if you do not want to see what they posted on your landing page, by all means, you can add to or remove from this list. Again, if you're interested in just getting the link for this post that they put on there, uh, you do have the ability to click the copy link to post. And again, as you notice here, as they start pitching, 
individuals on your landing page, you're going to see, uh, of course, their links to their actual OnlyFans profiles. It gives you the opportunity to view content. Now, OnlyFans does have a TV platform, again, to view various streams lines. You're going to find like Steph Me on there where you'll get an opportunity to see her golfing with other celebrities. Uh, again, I'm using that as an emphasis to, again, just remind you that this platform can be used for content beyond explicit information. Uh, with that being said, this is the right side, this is the middle. Let's go over here to the left side. In the left side, you're going to see the basic navigation over here. Obviously, we're at the home page. You're going to see notifications, messages, collections, subscriptions, the ability here to add your credit card. Now, this is, of course, optional. As you navigate through OnlyFans, you may want to subscribe uh, to a paid subscription. Uh, male or female, whatever your preference is, and you're going to have to go ahead and make sure that you actually update your profile with your credit card information to make that possible. Over here is your profile. This is the main section that when you first join that you're going to click, and we'll click that in just a little bit. But I do want to say here that right over here you have a little more button, and you have the ability to actually create posts in your landing page uh, so that your fans can actually see. Now, bear in mind that when you join OnlyFans, you can create a profile that is absolutely free, or you have the ability to create multiple profiles, and you can create one that's free and one that's paid. Again, it's up to you on how you want to promote yourself. A lot of the times, as you see over here on the right side, content creators create a free profile to drive traffic over into their paid subscription profiles and you can do that um, with that being said let's move on down over here with the more to see exactly what we have if you click the more button you're going to see essentially almost in essence a little bit about what you found up at the main page which is you're going to have the ability to access your profile your collections your settings again your cards to subscribe which is just your credit card to subscribe um, becoming a creator. Now, this is the actual tab that if you want to go ahead and say, I want to go ahead and create a subscription to market myself, to have people go ahead and pay me on a monthly basis, this is actually where you would first go to if you wanted to become a paid content creator. When you click this, and we'll show you in this video how to do that, you're going to have to go through a verification process before you have the ability to link in uh, your bank account. Now, over here, moving on further down, you have the help and support. Again, you have the ability to get into a different look over here, which is the dark theme mode. You have the ability to actually convert your OnlyFans page into different languages, which is very nice. As you notice here, they're very universal. And again, if you need to log out, up at the top here, you're going to see your little header, uh, your little circle image is what I'll call it, your name for OnlyFans, and your actual handle right over here. You're going to see how many fans you have, and then as far as followings right over here, you're going to have that ability to do that. So again, just more information if you click here, add another content. Here's the ability, as I mentioned before, you have the ability to create a free profile, and then you have the ability to get it into other profiles that you can convert into paid uh, subscriptions. Now let's delve deeper into notifications. Notifications is pretty much what you would expect. You know, notification that you got as far as comments right over here. Again, this is a demo account, so we're not going to necessarily see any current notifications. You have the ability to see all your notifications, tags, mentions. If you were mentioned, by all means, you have the see ability to actually get information as to um, what that is, promotions, and subscriptions. Now, if you want to go ahead and actually filter your notifications by rearranging these top tabs, by all means, feel free to click the little pencil. And if you notice here, you have the ability to go ahead and physically just rearrange your notifications simply by clicking the right side little buttons and moving them. And it really is that simple by clicking, moving them, however you so choose, and then clicking Save button. 
Now, right over here, you get into your settings. And I just want to emphasize this again. Let's go back here to notifications. You have this little gear icon. The gear icon automatically puts you into settings. And if you need to access your settings, remember, you can go to the More button. Click the More button. And at the bottom, you're going to, actually middle way, you're going to see the settings. Now, moving on further down, we've talked about the landing page for the home page. We've talked about notifications. Let's talk about messages. Obviously, it goes without saying that you need to be a paid uh, subscriber. It says here, uh, you, please subscribe to a creator to access this feature. Essentially, when people create their OnlyFans, they give people the option to directly message them. Not everyone does that. Uh, sometimes you do. Uh, these cr content creators say, okay, you can subscribe, but if you want to go ahead and actually send me a message, it's going to cost you an additional flat fee or there's a fee per message. So if we were in fact subscribed uh, to another content creator out there and we paid for that ability to actually message them, you'd have the ability to actually manage your messages right over here. And if you notice here, you have the ability to click new message. And it's going to allow you to select which user you want to message and physically send that message. Right now, again, this is a demo channel, so you're not going to actually see uh, any messages right here for you. Again, right over here, if you click the more, you can filter your messages by priority. What are the messages that are unread? What are the newest and the oldest and so forth? With the little pencil again, you know, again, you just pinned lists. You can go ahead and actually uh, go ahead and filter. Again, just another way to filter your preferences of messages. Now getting into collections, again, you know, collections is pretty straightforward. You're going to see fans of collections, followings, restricted, and blocked. Now that's one of the good things about um, OnlyFans, that as you navigate through the system, if someone by chance sends you a, a message or maybe they're subscribed to you and you don't like the way the communication is going, you do in fact have the ability to block that user. So feel comfortable that you're going to have the ability to see that information. Again, users list is basically information. Collections is essentially, you know, what are the, the handles and the information of who are your fans? Who are the ones following you? Who did you block? Um, and who's restricted? Again, you're going to be able to see this right over here. And you're going to have the ability as you uh, block people to unblock these individuals, navigate through this. Again, this is a uh, demo. Uh, channel, so you're not going to see any uh, handles of other content creators uh, or, or other individuals that you've subscribed to. But if you do, in fact, um, have a page yourself, you're going to see who your fans are, who's following you, um, and then, of course, who you blocked and have the ability to go ahead and do that. If there's any type of situation where you have another bucket, so to speak, how do I manage the lists of individuals? on my OnlyFans platform, by all means, feel free to click the Create New List, and you have the ability to go ahead and name that, and then again, navigate users and start putting users into that specific list. Again, you have the ability to see here uh, users and posts of those individuals. It's a way to basically sort um, all the activity on your specific account, whether you want to go ahead and sort it by users or by posts, by all means. Now getting into here with subscriptions. Subscriptions is pretty much, let's see if we can get into subscriptions. Okay, subscriptions is pay, pretty much what you're gonna expect um, if you do in fact wanna go ahead and actually get into subscriptions. You're gonna have the ability to go ahead and navigate uh, through your various subscriptions. Now we don't have any subscriptions, so we don't have access to this specific field. Um, but if we did, we have the ability to see all our various subscriptions and actually uh, manage your subscriptions in this section. Now, if you want to go ahead and actually uh, subscribe, as we mentioned before, you obviously have to set up your credit card information. Uh, again, this is information that you have to go through a verification process. If you notice over here, add card, verify, it goes without saying that they're going to make sure that you are who you are, in fact, say you are. Now, getting into your profile, which is the good information that mostly people want to understand how to do that. You have the ability to see what your profile is going to look like. Again, if you notice up at the top, when you click profile, it's going to show you 
what it's going to look like from the middle standpoint over there on the actual public once you make it public. Again, you're going to have the ability to show people uh, whether or not you are online or whether you are offline. Again, this is just for your own preference. In the center of your profile, you're going to have obviously the top header. You're going to have the little circle of another additional image. You're going to have your handle right over here. Um, you're going to have your name. You're going to have um, the ability, again, in your own profile to set whether you are, are showing people that you are logged into OnlyFans or if, in fact, uh, you made yourself visible, invisible so that they cannot see when you're logged into the platform. Now, obviously, it goes without saying that you have to fill in what your introduction is. You are limited by a number of characters. And again, people are going to have to, uh, the ability to see how many posts did you make throughout the day. And they're going to also see the number of medias that you have. Uh, up at the top, you're going to have, again, the master top header image that you can actually post as well. And they're going to actually show up at the top here um, whether um, how many videos you have, how many photos. The total amount is actually going to show up here. Why do they do this? Essentially, they're allowing other people to see before they subscribe uh, the quantity of content that you have to make it enticing. And that goes without saying that you want uh, at least a, a plethora of photos and videos uh, to entice people to actually subscribe. Now let's go ahead and click edit profile. Now to edit your profile, it's pretty simple. You're going to have the ability to click this little button, this photo image right here. And it's going to say, do you want to upload a photo or do you want to take a photo? It's going to give you the ability to do a webcam photo if you so choose. Over here is the same situation. If you want to go ahead and edit this little circle image, you can do that. Now, when you change your handle, obviously it goes without saying, if the handle for whatever reason is not available, this little check mark will actually not be present, but it'll show you that it's not available by turning red. And it'll basically say, look, someone else is using that specific handle. Now you do have the ability once you create a handle to change it at whim, it's up to you. And if it is avail available, you're gonna see a little check mark right there. And it's gonna show you at the bottom right over here, what your OnlyFans URL looks like. Again, you can call yourself anything you want. Again, I highly recommend using a pseudo name when you join OnlyFans. You want to make sure that you protect your privacy. If you are employed out there, uh, you may not want your employer finding out that you have an OnlyFans page. And it gives you the flexibility of maintaining that privacy. A lot of people use pseudo names, and I highly recommend that. Over here, it's going to give you, again, uh, the ability to type in a name as far as there, but bear in mind that's going to show up at the top, so you don't want to make it too wordy. And then you have the ability to see the number of characters in your actual displayed name. Right over here is the bio. Again, you're limited by a thousand characters. Um, you can copy paste, as you notice here. You can even do little mjoys. It really is up to you as to what you want to include. Uh, location is optional, website uh, is optional, Amazon wishlist is optional. Uh, subscriptions and bundles is just basically going to give you the option to set up a free uh, or if you want to physically actually have a paid subscription, what in fact are you offering uh, or telling these people to, to pay to get gain access to this actual uh, profile. Again, Spotify account, again, you have a plethora of ability to link in additional external links to redirect traffic, um, or at least, if anything, get individuals on OnlyFans to click those links and then see um, other additional platforms that you have out there. So that is how you actually physically go ahead and edit your profile when you first or start creating your profile, and then just click the little save button that'll come up once you type in information it's gonna have the ability that you have to actually save it. Now getting into here with your account, it's pretty straightforward. Your account is your username, your email, your phone number, uh, again, Twitter account, Google account, password. You do have two-step authentication just for security purposes. I highly recommend that. Um, it's remember, you're gonna be having your credit card information here. You, if you go and be a content creator, you're gonna go through a verification process. You're going to have a lot of sensitive information, and in today's world, it's always good to have that extra layer of security. 
Um, and then if you decide you do not want your OnlyFans account anymore, you do have the ability to click in here to delete the account. Again, another reason why you would want two-step factor authentication, just to protect it in case uh, that way no one can log in. Now for privacy and safety, again, remember everything in today's world is um, not only showing people if you're logged in or logged out, but also notifications. Here you have the ability to show active status. Again, this is what I talked about before, that if you're logged into the system as a content creator, you may not want your fans knowing when you are physically logged into the platform. Uh, and so you may want to take that feature off. Um, if you want to show subscription offers, again, you want the ability to show those subscription offers, you would just click this and have it active there. If you didn't want that, you would just toggle it and have it that way. It really is that user friendly. Notifications we talked about in the front of viewing them, but notifications on the right side allows you to manage those notifications. Again, a slew of notifications every time you join any account. So here is the email notifications that you want to go to. And if you do not want to constantly get notifications from OnlyFans specific to when someone comments, uh, someone likes, by all means, feel free to look through all these various bells and whistles and actually set these features. Now, if you want to see here, like here's a good example, email notifications, get emails to find out uh, what's going on when you're not on OnlyFans, you can turn them off at any time. Now, this is uh, set on, but if you wanted to go ahead and say, you know what, I'm not really interested in getting spammed. You can just go ahead and turn that off. It's up to you. Do you want to get important subscription notifications? Again, you can turn that off. It really is, again, at your discretion. Now, if you want to receive less notifications, you do have the ability to say, okay, yeah, send me notifications, but do me a favor. Don't spam me all the time. Here, you have the ability to go ahead and say, receive an email notification for direct messages only, and then only send me a message if it's important subscription that's going to impact me. Okay, so that's pretty much notifications, um, display. Again, we talked about this. How do you want it displayed in various languages? And what is the color theme if you want dark mode? And so that's the entire settings that you want to go through. Now, let's get down to the basics of what you're probably looking at this video for, which is saying, that's great, I created my profile, but how do I become an actual paid content creator? So to do that, what you want to do is actually go over here to your left side navigation. You want to click the more button. And then you want to go ahead and scroll on down here where it says become a content creator or become creator. Now, again, as I said before, there's a verification process. It's already notifying you this that, hey, you haven't completed your profile. So what you want to do first is, number one, sign up. Number two, complete your profile. Again, it doesn't have to be the final draft. You can edit it at any time. Number three is then go into your settings and go to this page and verify your identity. It's going to say, send me a photo of yourself. Now, with the photos, you have three options. You have the passport, you have your driver's license, and then you have the ability to use another ID that has your photo. So it's going to say, show me the photos, fill out your verification as to your name. It's going to then verify your identity. And once it verifies it, it's going to take up to maybe three days. And then you're going to get an email notification of whether or not you've been accepted or rejected. Now, if you've been rejected, typically it's because you didn't have a clear enough photo. Uh, to verify your identity, or you maybe used in a, when you filled out your name, it did not match your photo ID name. So it goes without saying, make sure that you have, if you are using a driver's license or whatever, passport, make sure that the image is very clear, that the image is large enough for them to verify, and that most importantly, that your name that you're using, not on your handle, that's a totally different name, but your name through the verification process matches the name on that photo ID. I want to emphasize this again, that again, they're also going to not only look at your photo ID, but they're going to ask you to take a selfie and you need to be comfortable doing that because bear in mind, if you're not comfortable, then maybe this isn't the type of platform that you should be using to actually be a paid uh, subscriber. Now, if you are taking a selfie, um, again, you are going to act 
as a redirected if you're not using mobile phone they will go ahead and if you're using a desktop redirect you to Omdato. Omdato is essentially just a third party service that they use that if you're using your desktop it's going to actually send you an email link and you're going to click that email link and be redirected to Omdato. You won't even really recognize it that it's on Dotto, but you're going to be have the ability to basically take a selfie of yourself. And on Dotto, the third party company is actually going to verify your identity if you're using a laptop or a PC to go through the verification process. Now, once you've completed your verification and you've gotten approved, that's when you're going to go ahead and you're going to link in your banking information. And so that's pretty much it. I mean, it's it's not rocket science. Um, but once you actually physically are verified, you can and link up your banking information. You then have the ability to go back into your settings and actually update your settings to have your profiles and subscriptions um, so that individuals can physically pay you. And uh, so that's if you have any additional questions, uh, hopefully this tutorial gave you a quick insight into how to set up your OnlyFans account how to actually get verified and become a paid content creator, a little bit, few bells and whistles on what you need to do um, to get started. And in the actual other OnlyFans videos, we'll talk a little bit more about utilizing this platform, like features of Telegram, and it'll give you better insight on how to improve your marketing to attract individuals uh, to your OnlyFans page.